Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I hope you all are completed your projects. In this video, I will tell you each and every requirement needs to record the demo video for your project. I will try to cover everything from installing the software and also about the guidelines, project setup and I will attach a sample video of explaining a project that I recorded. And finally, I will show you how to upload this video in Google Drive and get the public URL. So don't skip the video and watch it until the end. Without wasting more time, let's start the video. First of all, let's discuss about the guidelines they mentioned. And the first one is we should have to use our own voice to record the video and silent videos are not accepted so we must speak up and the next one is the length of the video should be more than 5 minutes and below 10 minutes will be preferable so you should have to prepare yourself according to the length and next one we must record the video in a quiet place to avoid any background noises and the voice also should be clear. Next one is, before recording the video, practice yourself how you are likely to explain. And the next one is, the video should be recorded in 720p so that all the text and images will be visible clearly. And the next one, we should have to open the project in different tabs so that we can navigate quickly without any delay. And the final one is, the video should be ended with a summary and a thanks note. And we should have to speak up very confidently. Then we will discuss about the softwares for recording a video. There are various softwares available. And some of those are OBS Studio, Loom and then Zoom. But the Loom and Zoom allows us to record a 5 minutes video. But more than 5 minutes video is not possible in those softwares. And also, if we want to record more than that, we should have to split that in two videos. And after recording those two videos, we need to merge them. But in the OBS Studio, there is no limitations like that. So, I truly suggest the OBS Studio to record the video. And I will add the OBS Studio installation guide in description and also in comment box. Do check out that and install accordingly. And after that, we need to open our project in different tabs. I will show you that now. Before starting the video, we should have to open all the necessary tabs. For that reason, I am opening the skill wallet and also this Gmail because I will receive an email for order confirmation, low stock alert and also for the loyalty programs. I want to show them also, that's the reason I opened this Gmail. After that, I opened this Developer Edition tab. So here, I have set it as Handsman Thread tab. After that, I want to open Flows. For that reason, I am moving to this Setup page. Here, searching for Flows. From here, I am searching for the Order Confirmation. After that, I am opening the Low Stock Alert. And finally, I am opening the loyalty program. And I want to rearrange all of these flow steps. So, I am just adding this order confirmation first. After that, low stock alert. And finally, the loyalty program. So, these are the three flows that I used in the project. And then, I used the apex triggers also. For that reason, I am going to the setup page. And here, I am opening this developer console. So, this is the developer console. So, here... I have this order total trigger and also this stock detection trigger. If you are not having this open, then move to these files and here click on this open. And here you can see this trigger tab and then select whatever you want. So like this, I also opened the apex triggers and I don't want this setup base. That's why I'm closing this tab. So I want this developer console at the end. Like this, I arranged all the tabs. Now, I am ready to start the recording. I will add the demo video of mine that I explained about the project Handsman Threads. And at the end, I will also show 
how to upload the video in Google Drive and to get the public URL. And also I will show how to upload that URL in the skill wallet. So let's see the demo video first. I am excited to walk you through my Salesforce CRM project named Handsman Threads Elevating the Art of Sophistication in Men's Fashion. The business goal with this platform is to streamline men's bespoke tailoring, enhance customer experience through personalized styling and also to optimize order management. And I have achieved this by leveraging the powerful capabilities of Salesforce CRM including custom objects, email alerts, record triggered flows, scheduled flows and also with apex triggers. Let's start by looking at our custom application. In this app launcher, we have our dedicated Handsman Threads app. Here it is. This app serves as the central hub for all our operations. Within this application, we have utilized a combination of standard and custom objects to manage our business effectively. Our key custom objects include Handsman Customers. It is used to store all customers related data. And then Handsman Orders. Used to manage customer orders. And then Handsman Products. It is used for product catalog. And the next one is Inventories. It is used for tracking stock levels. And finally Marketing Campaigns. And it is used to manage our promotional efforts. And we also integrate with standard Salesforce objects like reports and dashboards for analytics and also accounts and contacts for broader business context. Now let's dive into the user interface and see how we managed our data. I will demonstrate the creation of records in our key objects. First, the Handsman customer object. I designed this to capture customer information. Let's create a new customer record. So here in this Handsman customer name, I'm entering it as Sophia. And in this email, I'm giving it as Sophia at the rate xyz.com. And after that, I'm entering the first name as M and then last name as Sophia. So here the loyalty status and also total purchases are very crucial. And we automated these two with the help of flows. After giving all of these details, I'm just clicking on the save button. So here we can see an error message. Please fill correct Gmail because we added an email validation rule to ensure that email address should definitely contain gmail.com. So it promotes the use of professional or company specific email address. So I'm just changing the email address from sophia at the rate xyz to sophia at the rate gmail.com. So again clicking on the save button. Now the customer record is created successfully. Next move to this handsman product object. And this object holds all our product details including the handsman product name, SKU, price and then quantity. Here SKU means the unique number for the product. So I am just filling the details here. The SKU number as 0001 and the price as $3. And the quantity is 200. So after filling this, I am just clicking on the save button. So like this, the product is created successfully. Now we need to add this product to this inventory object. So here, we have given the relationship to this handsman product. First of all, we need to select any one of the product. And then we need to enter the stock that is available. After that, we need to select the warehouse where we are storing this object. And giving these details, we need to click on the save button. So like this, we successfully saved the inventory and then handsman product. So let's go with the handsman orders. This is the place where we manage all our customer orders. So let's create a new order. First of all, we need to select a product that we want to buy. After that, we need to select the customer. Then at first, we need to set the status as pending and also we need to ask for the customer how much they want. 
then this total amount will be updated automatically as we added the apex trigger validation after that we need to confirm the customer email then click on the save button like this we successfully created a order for this sofia customer now let's explore business automations that i have implemented with the help of salesforce flows and apex triggers i achieved it the first automations that i have done is automated order confirmation when the order status is changed from pending to confirmed then this flow will get triggered and also it sends an confirmation email to the customers let's see it practically here i am having a order with the name of customer sofia and also here i am having the customer email id let's change the status from pending to confirmed before changing the status let's see the stock available in inventory so move to this inventory and here this is the product of t-shirt and we are having a stock of 400 remember it we will discuss it later so now moving to this handsman orders and i'm having an order of 0888 and here i'm changing the status from pending to confirm and then clicking on the save button so once the status is confirmed then the user will get confirmation email i will show you that also so here is the email that the customer got your order has been confirmed and also here is the template like dear sophia your order 0888 has been confirmed thank you for shopping with us best regards sales team so like this i got the email after this order confirmation we will move with this inventory and here moving to this i triple two so we can see that the product t-shirt has reduced the stock quantity to 380 because sophia ordered 20 units of t-shirts that's the reason here 20 quantity is reduced and now it will be like 380 the next automation i have done is low stock alert whenever the inventory stock quantity is less than 5 then this flow will get triggered and also an email will be sent to the company owner so that the company owner can see the low stock products and they can refill it again so let's change the status from 382 4 and i'm clicking on the save now i will show you the email that the company owner get here we can see that dear inventory manager this is to inform you that the stock for the following product is running low product name t-shirt and the current stock quantity is 4 please take the necessary steps to restock this item immediately like this i automated the low stock alert the next automation that i have done is loyalty program so it is of scheduled triggered flow and it will be triggered on every day 12 am and here it takes the customer details and it will loop through all the customers that are having and also it will check for the total purchases of the customer if the total purchases are greater than 1000 then it sets the loyalty status to gold otherwise if the total purchases are less than or equals to 500 then it changes the loyalty status to bronze if the total purchases are in between 500 to 1000 then it changes the loyalty status to silver after changing these status it will also send the email to the customers let's see it practically so i am moving to this handsman customers and here i am having a customer name of sophia so at first the sophia having total purchases as null i am changing this to 500 and then clicking on the save button so sophia doesn't get the email right now because the flow only triggered every day 12 am but i will show you the sample email of these loyalty programs here it says that congratulations you are now a silver member and you are eligible for our loyalty rewards program like this i have automated these loyalty programs and finally i have written some of the apex triggers the first apex trigger is for order total so here we can see that we are having an enhancement order and here 
we are going to select this handsman product and also we are giving this quantity with the help of product price and this quantity we are calculating the total amount automatically in summary i have successfully developed this handsman thread salesforce crm project with the help of all the salesforce features and every feature build has been thoroughly tested and documented and it perfectly aligns the user requirements and business goals thank you for watching my demonstration video i hope it provided a clear understanding of the functionality and implementation of my salesforce crm solution this is the video that i recorded so let's see how to upload this video in google drive to upload the video first of all move to your chrome browser and here click on these nine dots here you will see an option called drive click on that here click on this plus icon and click on this file upload now select the file that you want to upload and then click on open so here we can see that uploading one item and it says that 13 minutes left to upload so wait until it uploaded if you are having good internet speed then it will be uploaded very fastly otherwise it will be delayed so in my case it is uploaded after that click on this video so it's here we to walk you through my sales for share so here we can see that share button so actually it is in private mode but we should give the url in public so click on that here change the access from restricted to anyone with the link then copy the link after copying this link move to the skill wallet here access your project and then click on this add demo link then add the demo url after that click on the update demo link so like this the demo link is updated successfully we will do a video on how to upload this github link in another video and also please do subscribe our channel and share our channel to your friends it will help them too that's it thank you